So we've come to the point in orthopedics where we've realized that patients may have an allergy to the implants. And what that means is these implants, uh, which are made of metal, uh, certain patients may not tolerate. Uh, whether that's a true allergy or an intolerance, uh, we've learned it can be problematic and can make uh, patients unhappy and make us frustrated because uh, uh, it's very difficult to know what to put in a patient. So um, we've partnered up with allergy uh, immunology specialists and we can actually test patients now to certain metal allergies and even to the, as we spoke about, the grout or the cement that, that bonds an implant in uh, to allergies to that as well. Uh, this also helps test to antibiotic allergies and, and things like that. We've identified that about 20% of people, women more than men, may be intolerant to nickel. Uh, and these implants have a very small amount of nickel in them. So if I interview a patient and I ask them questions, can they wear jewelry, does it cause reactions, can they wear uh, fake nails, Be, uh, the epoxy on it is very similar to our bone cement. If I get anybody who says, yeah, I, I, I couldn't wear earrings as a child and now I, I don't wear them, well, what we do is we, we test. We, uh, we have formal allergy testing, and if a patient comes back allergic, uh, we do have strategies to make them any um, built nickel-free or cement-free, um, and, and that's, cust you know, that's custom for that patient. So uh, my interaction with patients, I really spend a lot of time asking them questions about whether or not they tolerate uh, metal jewelry and, 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 and fingernail uh, uh, epoxy because it really helps us know what we can put in a patient, to, again, to limit the complications.